Hey guys, Tantrap here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on uh, Aire Pyrenius. I'm say spawning on the right. But a mixed access team, Yosugami with Africa Core, Bebo Tot with Fairmacht. And on the left hand side, we've got ROMC with the British forces and uh, ORP An Jer Pro and with US forces. Random team on both sides, as far as I'm aware. Um, look. So ROMC is one, two, two. Random twos. Ooh, ORP is 500. Does have a couple other top 200 ranks though, with other factions. Musugami is 330, and Bebo Tot is 89. So a couple of players a little bit outside of the rankings, top 200 rankings, but we'll see how this one gets on. Going for a bit of an expedition, didn't realise you could drive through that little gap with a 250. Pathfinder start for RRP. An infantry section of Tommies has been trained. Coming into close range. Taking quite a lot down from these Pathfinders, though, more than I was expecting. Target kill. Oh, wow. And uh, Krad goes down on the far side. Oh, instructions, sir. The uh, cries of success from the engineers. Eventually does uh, force away that unit. I believe the 250 does have... Uh, more armor on the front than on the sides. A lot of vehicles, light vehicles, have the same armor on the front and sides, but I think the 250 is about two more on the front, so if you can get onto the sides, you can do quite a lot more damage in these early small arms firefights. You can have a look at that now, yeah, exactly right. Two armor more. So try and, like, you know, get around to the side of it. Well, we've got a bazooka squad sneaking up from the 250. This could be a nasty surprise. Oh, well, they got the sticky satchel off. Slow 250 dodge. And that's the insta kill. The satchel does 200 damage. So the 250 not full strength goes down. Didn't even need any bazooka follow up. Nice little uh, kill there early on for both the allies. Quick look, see through. Uh, okay, we've got uh, airborne over here. Paratroopers are standing by for drop. Armored support for Yosugami. Bebo Tot's gone for breakthrough. Yosugami making a dash for the building. Can the engineers constantly outposition it here? Trying to dodge around to the side now, but they get suppressed. No luck. Had to be a little bit faster than that. Grenade Meanwhile, MP40s so making a bit of a move through the center. And that's a late retreat from ROMC. Did get to the side though. With the final model. Eventually has to retreat. Could be a squad right here as well. Not yet. Granted grenades, as requested. Maybe through here. Through the top, coming across for it now. Well, Should be an easy kill for the MP40s. Out of contact. Well, uh, section upgraded with the Ricky package. Trying Cover to get up the hill. Crawl on their way across. The beggars are threatening a victory point. Getting away with the Pathfinders. Dropping in some paratroopers on the other side of this machine gun. We are losing territory. Maybe we could get a grenade in here, and that's exactly what they're doing. Three three model cap on that grenade. Paratrooper grenade quite weak. I think it's basically identical in stats to the rifling grenade. But uh, it has a damage bonus against units inside garrisons. Yeah, quite unimpressive, as you saw there. Great assault coming back the other way. 
Pretty effective dodge from the Paris. And they backpedal a little bit further away. Oh, there's a cheeky grenade. I was trying to retreat. And they're going to get home safe. 17 HP. Meanwhile, I've got to move all the way down here. You see, the allies have been making huge inroads down this side of the map, I'm sure. Killing off Kit and, and the uh, 250 have really helped a lot with their territory control situation. So even though the Axe is doing reasonably well through the center, they've lost a lot of important resource sectors. Zuka's car coming in here. Sure, he'd want to get to uh, Vet 1 here if possible, so he can get that uh, Phosphorus rocket and actually fight back against infantry. Meanwhile, Assault Brens inside the 250, forcing away the machine gun from the far side. Was that a rebuilt kitten from Bebo? Hmm. That was a kitten that died there, or was it a crud? I'm not sure. Crud shoots in. Kitten crud. Ray coming in. Not a very clean connection, honestly. Territory lost. So oh, there is rolling through center. The 250s coming in, but do remember these guys have got grenades. They have revealed that. So the 250 could be in for a nasty double nade. We're losing a fuel point to enemy action. He goes one. A bit slow coming across with the second. Oh, the bazookas from downtown. Wow. Can't believe they were even in range there. Let alone actually landed both shots. Probably was going to die to another snare anyway, but ouch. Speaking of death. Bit of a late retreat there, squad down. Flap coming in. A bit late on the flak, feels like. Maybe about a minute late, but... Victory point under enemy control. So, getting some major work done here. Goes out a satchel before retreating. Oh, those things hurt. Reasonable dodge, though. Okay, weapon support center, of course. He's not going for motor pull. Oh wow, this is a really late Humber. This is nearly three minutes late for RMC. I didn't think the Allies would have lost control of their fuel that much, but maybe, maybe apparently they had. Because in terms of actual fuel timing, it's not too bad. I suppose he did take grenades as well, right? He's not got healing yet, though. He's, of course, locked into Indian artillery. Very strong option. Pathfinder's circling his machine gun. Looks like they're doing very little damage, though. Should get away just fine. Humber sees MG inside the building, starts chipping away at it. Decent damage, but those uh, rifle nades don't seem to be that good against buildings, do they? Jerry's not giving up without a fight. They're down to 300 points. Seems like they got quite bad AOE. Well, picks up the machine gun, trying to get away with it here and it looks like it's going to be successful the flat comes in for a few bursts but both of them are going to escape close call but we're losing a fuel point to do get away and, uh, machine gun backing this up rough no misses the flak does have an edge over the Humber in the head-to-head. -head. And the Humber is going to back away. And now the rifle man, no, he doesn't have munitions for it. Smoking out to safety. MG up the hill. 
performing well, but now getting flanked by the bazookas. The bazookas, uh oh, Flack gets jammed by his own pack. Oh, but they both miss. He got suppressed at the last possible moment. Unfortunate. Good attempt there by uh, ORP. Have a quick look at some of these army compositions. Two bazookas, two Paris, two Pathfinders. Stolen machine gun, I think that is. Oh, there's the phosphorus rocket from the bazooka. Really good ability. Look how good its DPS is. Very, very strong. Coming meanwhile. Oh, he doesn't have much though. He's lost a lot of units. Could be uh, in some trouble with this. Mid truck now as well. Dodge on the grenade assault. Paratrooper grenade coming in there. Pretty good army for Bebo Todd at this stage. Just got a hit one mortar as well. I'm guessing that's. A bit one training upgrade. We must pull this back. On the infantry We're company. And the paras, I mean, I think the bazookas trying to uh, kite for a while until they can fire off another phosphorus, but sprinting forwards with the grins, not going to allow that, but. Okay, they're going to survive just fine. Okay, a late heavy mortar deployed here. Reports of enemy movement near our victory point. Got a bit late than never. Reasonably strong map for the heavy mortar. Break the camp through the center. Meanwhile, we've got a mortar pit down over here. It's already getting barraged by the Wehrmacht mortar. So far, the truck has not been upgraded with the medics. And there we go, the heavy mortar lands a shell on the flak as it's coming in. 250 deployed with an anti-tank gun. Bit of smoke coming out from both the flak and the mortars. And the uh, human mortar in a bit of trouble. Getting very low but it's getting away and surviving. And now the, f the mortar pit in the middle in some major trouble. Allies have almost nothing here. It looks like uh, a second flak deployed from Yosugami. And it looks he's trying to save his pack from being stolen out in this corner. Flak in the center, meanwhile, in some trouble. Oh my goodness! Was that from this already? Delayed fuse? Uh, unreal. And it's on the different cooldown to the regular barrage as well. How did it get to VET 3 that fast? This mortar pit, what are its VET requirements? Seem to be incredibly low. Wow. I thought the Allies were in some major trouble through the center, but <laughs> I was massively wrong. Finally, the Humber repaired up again, but he's forgotten about it. Forcing the retreats on the Pios. Okay. And Panzer 3 out for Yosugami. Has managed to recover the Pack 38 that was stranded out on the side as well. No further tech up from Yosugami, mean, as you might expect, but to afford two flak feelings and a pen Command Panzer 3 as well as ticking up, so we'll be very slow getting any kind of uh, anti-vehicle medium. But he's got the uh, AT guns to help in that regard. I think the bazooka's trying to get a range for a satchel, not happening. Maybe run up the hill to his teammate's mid truck. Meanwhile, Panzer IV hitting the field for Bebo Todd. Looks like it's forced a paratrooper away early. Oh, 
Oh, kitten trying to come in here. Arrows might be able to finish it off here quickly. Oh no, it survives. 10 HP. Not sure how much these paras do per shot, but there's probably one more rifle f shot. That would have gone down. And the bazookas are not in position. They're both in the center, so nothing to stop this Panzer IV going on a killing spree out here. Next is victory point. Meanwhile, the uh, flame tank getting to work out here. Somehow the Pack 38 got decrewed all the way forwards here. It did manage to knock out the Humber. Flame tank able to get the decrew fast enough. And RMC's perspective. He's got enough for a snare now. He just got enough munis for it. He's going to go for a recrew on the AT gun, and that finishes the job. Reckless stuff there, and here comes another flame tank. Carnage. Enemy ground forces have claimed the sector. The enemy has our victory. Some Stostrupin in the center here for Bevo Tots. Assault grenades onto the mortar pit. Do a decent amount of damage to it. Don't know how, what the health pool is on that. Or what kind of armor it has. I well, guess maybe 35 armor. Not sure though. Meanwhile, a couple of big shots here from the Hellcat. Hands are full. Very slow backing away for Bebotot. Flame tank coming in, helping to finish the job. Pack trying to get a position. Unsuccessful. The Hellcat dipped back away. It's coming down for the Panzer IV. Okay. This is a crucial shot though. He's going to disengage with that. That was connecting a little bit too early so no engine crit. Uh, two snares going off. So the Flame Panzer III takes an engine crit. Got the smoke launchers though, the pack not contributing for any damage. The sections try and chase this down for some more hits. A couple more snares. He's on the road now though, he seems to be moving relatively fast. I don't think RMC is going to be able to finish him. At least he has some major pathfinding issues. It's going to get away. Meanwhile, what happened here? Bazooka Squad looks to have died. Uh, yeah, both of the bazooka squads are dead for ORP in the center. Looks like those bazookas... Okay, one of them's been upgraded, one of them's just picked up from the ground. Bazooka Paras dropping down real fast, another flame tank coming in. So the Paras are going to survive though, they're quite resilient. And here comes a Matilda. Knocks out the Flame Panzer III. It's bringing up a pack and support as well. The Flame Tank trying to circle around to the side of it. He's forming well, chipping away at the Matilda, which has a side armor facing in this direction. Probably would be better to slightly switch directions here. Get that much more sturdy frontal armor showing. Flame Panzer three, very low. One more snare could finish it off. He's got he's got the munis for it as well. The Panzer four trying to go for some attack rounds into the smoke, finishing off the Matilda. Not on prioritized vehicles though, wasting a shot on the infantry. This is another attack round. Got some planes coming in now. Oh, dive bomb. Knocks out the AT gun, but the Matilda's still alive. So is the Flame Panzer III, by the way. Just can't believe that. Battle is going our way. Keep going. But the Matilda's going to be able to limp home here. 60 HP remaining. Oh, here comes a fresh Panzer IV. The B boat. A victory point. Both teams quite arrived. close on victory points, Axis. 
behind at this stage and we're suffering the triple cap, but they're doing something Making about that progress. now off to this side. We quick look at army sizes here. We've got 65 for RMC, Victory 54 for ORP, 45 for Yosugami, and 74 for Bibotot. Bibotot, largest army by a pretty large margin as well. Well, maybe not for long though, RMC pushing up to 82 now with the arrival of the second Matilda. We're losing a Does not have any We're losing a victory <laughs> engineers for repairs though. Um, okay. You need to repair your old tank, that's old news, you know, just get a new tank. Arrows getting to work here. Struggling a little bit against the Panzer IV. Doesn't even have the skirts on him. Oh, there we go. A couple of good connections and then retreating at a nice timing while they're still caught by model count. Serving a lot of manpower. Like Panzer III getting repaired up. It's like he's sending the med truck to the front lines again. There's not a lot for it to do up there. The mortar out there on this side though, looking to clear off this garrison finally. Oh, and it's very low. The building's about to get flattened. Oh, it got out just in time. Very close call for RMC. Flare up from the recce sections, I'm guessing. Oh, it's from the uh, heavy mortar. We're losing a victory point. Okay, here comes another dive bomb. It actually comes in relatively fast. Don't see it too often because the other option is completely broken, but I imagine this is probably going to get patched in the next patch. I know that it did get toned down in terms of damage, but it can actually lock on to units outside the circle for some reason. Beyond, yeah, like, beyond usual, beyond the same way that you could do that in Co2. Seems to be able to, seems to come through for two attack passes. Oh. There we go, there goes the kitten. It had a good run. Two attack passes, so you're like, you, you back out of the circle after taking a pass, and it'll come through for another pass, even though you've been out of the circle the entire time. Don't know how that got broken again. Flak feeling here. Don't. How about this as an option? It should be good at holding on to the VP, I suppose, but I haven't seen many planes. I suppose some could technically come through from ORP. Okay, coming out this side. Still quite low. Oh. Pack knocked out. There's a mighty section blob by RMC. Mid truck. Recrew here. You can see much slower reinforcing these days now with all those changes. So it got decrewed immediately again before it could reinforce back up to a meaningful health total. And this is looking a bit ugly here for the Axis. Two Matildas poised to strike. Oh, but well we got another dive bomb coming in. Ooh. How much damage does that dive bomb do? Was that Matilda at full health? Oh my god. And the other Matilda's in some trouble. The AT gun's there, but Matilda's popped smoke. And the attack round's not finding their mark. Nice try there by Yosugami. 
What was this flame tank doing this entire time, by the way, though? <laughs> Just sitting there doing nothing. Okay. Oh, that's uh, two Hellcats and a Sherman now for ORP. He's got double engineers for repairs as well. Oh, but that's a Tiger for Bebo Tot. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. Don't have any 17 pounders or anything for RMC. Did suffer quite a lot of losses in that push. Where did all the sections go? Did they all die to the dive bomb as well? I saw the Matilda, but I didn't notice the section death. He, he had four sections just a short while ago. Now it's down to one. X is poised to make an attack down the, the side. Here we go, we're running up the hill. Matilda did immediately. Mid truck trying to get away now. AT gun hung out to dry. Allies managed to get the decap off in the center here. Heavy mortar strike out the back decrews the pack 38. And now the flame tank sweeping up here looking to knock out the heavy mortar. That's had a good run. Five kills. Two. Really need to see these vehicles mobilize. For uh, ORP. To answer this threat, looks like they're going to strike against the flat feeling first. There it goes. Faust connecting though. Flame tank looking for yet another the kill. Chasing down the section. Enemy ground forces have claimed. And the gets it eventually. Oh, this could be a dead grand yet. Tiger's rolling up though. Missing its follow up shot. It's activated uh, Blitzkrieg type ability. Has a Fords over here as well. Five bombs coming in. Largely doing friendly fire there though. Oh, Hellcat trying to speed down the road to get to safety. Too slow, though. Too many issues trying to get around in this area. And that is some massive losses for ORP. All of his tanks dead just like that. Managed just to get a sticky satchel off on the command tank. Tilda here relatively healthy as well. Some airburst shells coming in from ROMC. They're not that good though, they're okay, but not incredible. So, units trying to heal up the Panzer IV, but interrupted by the bazookas. Two more bazookas, and that should do. I think they do 60 damage apiece. There they go. Half track trying to come through with some smoke to save the day, unsuccessful. Tilda. I'm getting crew shot there. Going toe to toe with the Panzer IV. The Tiger's rolling up now, though. Tiger up to Vet 2 already. Unbelievable. Five vehicles destroyed, though. That's, that'll, that'll do it. Killed so many of those US tanks. Let's get a reload bonus of it too. Yeah, rate of fire a bit too. You can feel it. A lot of repairs required for Bebo Tot now. Axis are very low on VPs, so in spite of uh, killing a huge amount of units, they are still in a bit of trouble here in a precarious position. Huge shot from the uh, recruit heavy mortar. Two green deers hanging on by a thread. One of them goes down. Oof. Another dive bomb coming in. Oof. Tilda rolling up. Oh my goodness. Carnage in the center. Tilda trying to smoke in. 
Oh my god, the bazooka's getting blocked by the Matilda. Hellcat there misses. About to go down. Infantry are standing by to deploy. Not to misses. Attack rounds into the smokes. Fresh Matilda, or just about fresh. Rolling up. Fresh in terms of health, already uh, close to vet one. There's only one engineer for repairs, and that's a huge amount of health that it needs to recover. Making a dash for this VP. The allies themselves getting a bit low on the victory point counter. Capping up to the far edge. Okay, the heavy mortar could be getting some nasty shots in here. Oh, there we go, good shot from the Hellcat. Did he pop the, uh... No. Never mind. Huge amount of health repairs required on the Matilda. The Hellcat's coming down, but it's... It's so on one shot that's an extremely risky maneuver. It does have a five range advantage over the Panzer IV, but you can't rely on being able to micro a five range advantage. It's just so hard to control. Okay, a bit of air burst coming in. Not a lot happening there, though. Go for the combat half tracks upgrade. Maybe he did. The there goes one of them. The Axe is out here capping though. Gurkha's doing their best, but the command tank should be able to shut them down pretty easy. The incendiary strike coming through there from Bebo Tot doesn't really do too much though. It's a little bit underwhelming. That one's just like a single line. I think it's the one from uh, British Air and Sea that's like three lines, which is actually kind of good, but well, it's still kind of slow in uh, how long they take to arrive compared to a lot of the other planes that got changed. We've a hundred points left. Back at full strength. In the uh, plane overhaul that we saw the uh, other patch. That's a strange looking pack set up <laughs> on the on what it steps. <laughs> it's like it's shooting straight into the ground. Oh, the comical. Oh my god, the dive bomb strikes again. That thing is nasty, man. I think people have been sleeping on that dive bomb just because of how good the anti tank. Uh, anti tank loiter is. But that could be the big winner in the next patch. On Matilda, no escaping against this tiger up to vet three now. Six vehicles destroyed. Flies themselves down. You hear the announcer. They're capping out on the far edge. Got a bunch of bazookas coming in from this side though, from ORP. Keeps wasting a lot of his damage. Okay, here he goes now. Hellcat making some moves. And of four getting very low. Hellcat backing away though. Oh, Bazooka's just hung out to dry. Hellcat. Okay, now he's about to get two on ones. Yeah, that was some really bad control from ORP. Manages to kill a Panzer IV though. Okay, Matilda's making some plays out to the far side, trying to open up the capture. There's some airburst coming down, doing all right, but there's no infantry. Here comes a Royal Engineer, but it looks like it's going to be too late because the Axis are capping out on this side. They're going to drain out too fast, the Allies, to really turn this one around. Dropping in some paratroopers, actually. That maybe is going to be too slow. There's Running out too fast. One last digit. Now running ten points. 
Don't dodge on that satchel. It's not a sticky one. That was just a regular old-fashioned one. Oh, wow. We get the end, end screen this time. I don't know what's going on with the replays, but here we go. So, yeah. Good start from the uh, allies, but what happened? When uh, RMC lost, like, <laughs> half his army to that Stuka dive bomb, I think it was, that was a bit of a turning point from the Axis. That Stuka dive bomb, man, I didn't realize it was so good. Especially after the changes. Maybe I should start uh, using it a bit myself. Interesting. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, you know, Bebo Todd just keeping things alive really made the difference there, you know, with the double Panzer Fours and the Tiger in the end game was just crushing an ORP, you know, losing so much armor to that initial Tiger attack. Really couldn't build his way back in after that. Lacking a bit of uh, control. You know, positioning and stuff. Good target selection. But, yeah. Pretty good uh, heavy mortar usage from RMC. Did a lot of damage with that through the center of the map. And Yosugami, a uh, bit of a meme build there with three flak feelings and command tanks, flame tanks. Yeah, was a, you know, got to see some different units for a change. So I suppose that's a nice, nice mix up for all of us uh, viewers. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like it, again, be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.